The U.S. Navy has claimed that 11 Iranian Navy vessels came within 10 yards of six of its warships, describing the close encounters as dangerous and harassing approaches. The incident took place yesterday with footage released by the U.S. Fifth Fleet showing boats belonging to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, Navy. Dangerous and harassing? Iranian boats buzz, U.S. Navy vessels patrolling Persian Gulf details, https colon slash slash t dot co slash jav he vggp for pic dot twitter dot com slash all nine new walk, rt, at rt underscore com april 15, 2020 according to a statement made by the U.S. Naval Central Command, Navesant, the Iranian vessels repeatedly crossed the bows and sterns of the U.S. vessels at extremely close range and high speeds reportedly coming within 10 yards of the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Mari. Images and video also show the speedboats maneuvering around the guided missile destroyer USS Paul Hamilton. U.S. crews issued multiple warnings via bridge-to-bridge -bridge radio, five short blasts from the ship's horns and long-range acoustic noise maker devices, but received no response, the statement said. Read, the Gulf's coronavirus challenges Bresh TV reported that although Tehran had yet to respond to the allegations, it has been a staunch critic of U.S. imperialist adventurism in the Persian Gulf and the rest of the world, maintaining the right to defend its local interests against U.S. aggression. The U.S. fleet which also included the expeditionary sea base, USS Lewis B. Fuller were reportedly training with U.S. Army AH-64 Apache attack helicopters at the time in international waters, alleges Naves and the most Iranian warning possible https colon slash slash t dot co slash trafel 9 c pic dot twitter dot com slash zero one vo two oak coffee at Sayyid Kendan April 15th. 2020 The incident is also said to have occurred on the same day that the U.S. Navy accused a Russian warplane of performing an unsafe intercept of one of its surveillance planes over the Mediterranean. On Tuesday the IRGC was also suspected of being behind the seizure of a Hong Kong-flagged tanker ship off the coast of Iran, close to the Strait of Hormuz, before being released. No one has claimed responsibility for the seizure. The incident has cast doubt on the Trump administration's claim earlier in the year that the assassination of the IRGC's Quds Force commander, Major General Qasem Soleimani was part of restoring deterrence against the Islamic Republic, although Iran has been negatively impacted with U.S.-imposed sanctions amid the coronavirus pandemic, in particular when it comes to securing medical aid. However the U.S. currently the epicenter of the global outbreak is also undergoing challenges of its own including an outbreak on board a carrier in the Pacific and over 150 military bases domestically. Read, Iran's real virus figures higher than official ones. Let's block ads. Why?